A while ago, I went to our Shannon offices in Ireland and I got to meet Ivor Fahi, who runs the lab. For those of you who've watched the Welcome series, you know I've done one on extreme switching. And on one of the episodes, we put the switch on a turntable and we rotated it 360 degrees to give you a good view of what it actually looked like and what all those ports and buttons actually meant. But we didn't get to look at the inside of the switch. And most people don't because opening up a switch invalidates the warranty. But Ivor was cool enough and gracious enough to allow us to open a switch. And then he took me on a personal tour of the inside of the switch. It was fascinating. Come and join us for the next few minutes as we take a deep dive into the interior of a 5420 universal switch. Yeah, here we're opening a 5420, 5420, one of the, the universal ranges. Oh, yes. Okay, so right, let me get around here. So this is the insides of a 54, uh, 5420. And F model 48P, so 48 port, yep. Yeah, so that has, that provides 30 watts um, per port. So the, the 48W then it would, would actually provide 90 watts per port. Then, yeah. And, 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 has, and uh, yes, that so tag, that's, tag, that's got, that's got yeah. that interesting information about it. That's what you use to charge your iPhone when you're out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the, and the management so ports. Here you have the console port, yep. right? So yep. you, can, you can configure the switch via your yep. CLI. You have your management ports. Yep. You have your these stacking. two here. These exactly. are the stacking these are ports. Your stacking ports. Yep. 10 gig. Uh, yeah. Up and then you have um, your, the your uplink ports. Your uplink ports. Your, yep. your 10 gig uplink ports. So, um, Fabulous. And, and then you have here your 48 copper ports. Yeah, um, so that's uh, 802, uh, 8 if I'm not mistaken, is the 30 watts. Yes, right. This so here. tell so me, here, tell me what um, we're looking at. Um, so here, obviously, your your so power supply. Two fixed, two fixed, uh, uh, two fixed fans. Three, three fixed three, fans. Three fixed fans. Yeah. Okay. Um, on the M model of these, you actually have a, a fan tray. Um, I don't have an M model here, but yeah. Where if we had a failure in the field, instead of RMEing the the full switch or Replacing the full switch, you, you just swap out the tray, right? So okay. it, it's it's obviously cost. Uh, it saves a um, yeah. customer as well, right? Here we have a power supply, provides 54 volts and uh, and um, yeah, 54 volts. So the 54 volts will come in here then, and here is your your DC to DC circuitry here. So for example, here you have your 54 volts coming in here and it's broken down here into 12 volts this, this circuitry here the 12 volts powers the, the fan modules uh, here you have a, again your 12 volts probably goes down to if i'm trying to remember if that's converts it to 3.3 volts to power up your 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 um cpld which controls the the power sequencing as the unit powers up the certain power rails need to come on at certain times. Um, here is the your, your circuitry to power the your microprocessor. Your microprocessor and your Mac are, are one device here. Um, this is a, a 0.88 volt circuit, so it takes in um, 12 volts, uh, converts it down to 0.88 volts. There's um, and then here you have your 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 battery backed up, um, your 3.3 volts. Um, so that's used to, I suppose, for NVRAM, right? To store the part number, the serial number, anything that's- Time. Time, exactly. You know, when you're powered off, so- um, You store all the config. You store all the config, exactly. So where is the operating system? The stored? operating system is stored here in your 
flash memory. So this is as a universal switch, it has both of those set up over there. Yes, and it, yeah, so this one is set up at the moment, it, it's XR, so it has two partitions. Um, How much, what's the capacity of that? Uh, I think it's one gig. Okay. I, I, approximately one gig. Um, here you have um, your, your, I suppose your, your SD RAM. So as the unit powers up, it will load the operating system, the microprocessor will load the operating system from your your flash memory into your SD RAM, just so it can access it quicker, right? So it's on a it's on a data bus, so it um it can it can access it quicker. Your your MAC address tables, everything, they're all stored here in your SD RAM as well, right? So as the switch learns the your MAC address tables for switching, etc. So um, it it forgets. Uh, when when the switch powers off, it forgets that MAC address table and yes. has to rebuild it. So yes, that's, so there's is, no concept yeah. of storing no, that information. That is the type of memory. So that's SD RAM. This is yep. same flash as you memory. find the same yeah. as you find on your computer, right? Exactly. Uh, yeah. If you copy and paste and shut down the machine, it's gone. Yes. Yes. Whereas here, yeah, your that's, OS that's will remain your, in your in your, your flash hard drive memory. Or yeah. Yeah. In a computer, exactly. That could be. Got you. Yeah. So there's a lot of there's there's a lot of power stuff that's happening here where you're taking in a high voltage and then scaling it down yes. to power up different components exactly uh, from yes. from from 12 volts for the fans to 0 0.88 or something yeah, for, for the microprocessor yeah got you um, you have could have other circuitry working here as five volts 3.3 volts there, there's um, one volt for the, for for some of the phi's in here. Um, your SFP ports work at 3.3 volts. So you have your, your power over e Ethernet circuitry. So Oh, okay. Yeah, you have your 54 volts that comes up here through your your bus bar. Um, and you can supply all 48 ports at uh, 30 watts, at, at 30 on this watts model. of power on, yeah, on here. Yeah, okay. on this model. Um, the M model can, pro can provide 90 watts. Um, on every single port. On every single port, yeah, I believe, okay. yeah, yeah. So what will change on that one? Will the, yes, the power exactly. supply will, you have will two, be a different one? You have two, oh, two big, of those. Two, uh, uh, not a fixed, not an open frame power supply, two fixed um, redundant or two fixed closed frame power supplies that slot in here. They, they can just provide more power, right? I, I think we have three, four different models. Uh, you can have like, the highest one is... 1,220 watts. So you, uh, yeah. you know I've what I mean. Seen those. So yeah. you can, you can buy as much power as you need, right? Now this this blanking plate over here, this is for, this a for extra your, power your supply. Your power supply. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when you plug that in, that's where it then connects to from the back, and yes. that then becomes a redundant redundant power, power supply. supply. Exactly. So they're both power. They're both working at the same and time. But the idea yes. is, if this was to fail, that, that one take takes over, off and it yeah. can it can handle that entire yes, load. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Is there any concept of sharing power? There is. Between? Yeah. It shares the load. Yeah. Oh, it does it? Yeah. Yeah. It does. They, they, they actually so they so they share the load and they um, and one is fully capable of taking the entire load yes okay brilliant that's yeah. fantastic so you can as I said you can you can run this unit just on this power supply on its own um, but obviously if you're you know it's good to have redundancy yeah um, perfect that's fantastic I'd never seen one of these open before. So there you go. Okay, good. Brilliant. Thank you. No problem at all.